my friends, and welcome to the 200th episode of Deeply Rooted. Man, like always, even in the hardest times of life, and the ebbs and flows and the transitions, it is not lost on me that there is a little bit of magic to it. So I'm about a week away from my 54th birthday and I have this group of the most amazing friends that, well, we met um, at a school where we were all teachers. We all about the same time transitioned from that school and had to kind of find our way uh, and started doing teaching in different ways. And then COVID hit. And so it started with a Zoom birthday party for one of the friends. And then I was next up and in the birthday um, rotation. And a couple of those same friends came to my house to just knock on the door and say happy birthday during COVID when everything was uncertain and my husband was deployed, but they wanted to let me know that I was loved. And how now here we are almost, maybe even a little over two years later and we've still kept that tradition alive. And so when this group of women asked me, what would you like to do for your birthday? I stepped out and I told them what I wanted to do. You see, I have always known that creativity is much more than some sort of busy activity. And I have known over the years, really the last 15 years, how much it has healed me, saved me, kept me in my most anxiety-filled times. But I'm going to be honest, it's very hard to get people, adults, to step into that because there's so many labels around who's the artist and who can write and who <laughs> has been deemed worthy to, you know, uh, create and, and also who has the time. And actually, if we go even deeper, what's the point, right? And so that's part of the reason why I actually started teaching to, to children, because initially I really wanted to get groups of people together. Women, mostly, but I mean, I, I would have been open to any, any group of adults um, to really experience the magic and the synergy that happens when you, when you do something like this. Well, anyway, let's get back to my birthday. So I said, well, what I'd like to do is, would you be curious about doing a poetry reading session where we just read poetry together and we talk about it? <laughs> And no one knew what to expect. I really didn't know what to expect. I was very shy about it, but I said it because I have grown to know and love these ladies and I trusted them enough to tell them really what I wanted to do for my birthday. And so yesterday we got together and I had these books created Thank you, Amazon KDP. <laughs> and I, um, of course, there's an alarm going on. This is real time, folks. <laughs> but I um, had these books put together where we would sit together and we would read the books. We would, or sorry, we would read a poem. And so, we get together. <laughs> it was like a, a, you know, a little light um, snack, you know, coffee, tea,
birthday party and I presented the books to them as a gift. And so in the table of contents, it just had names of poets because I kind of thought, well, everybody's kind of known maybe names of poets, but they, even if they've never read the poetry, right? And so that's how I set it up. And so, you know, feeling like the hesitation, I was like, well, this is, you know, the, this was my thing, so I'll go first. And so there was a, um, a poem in there by Nikki Giovanni. So I've always, you know, known about Nikki Giovanni because, <laughs> this will definitely date me, because Tina Marie of, you know, Rick James and Tina Marie, in her song, she mentions Nikki, Nikki Giovanni. So I said, let's read that one. So we open it up to that page and the name of the poem is called Quilts. So look it up if you haven't uh, read it. And so I read the poem and the conversation started. And the conversation continued. And suddenly we spent close to 30, maybe 45 minutes on this poem. And it was the most amazing, intimate, beautiful, <laughs> magical, um, it was just wonderful. And it was all because we each one decided to just try this thing and see what happens. And so I just wanted to, I don't know, mark the, this particular event for a couple of reasons. Number one, because your 200 episodes should really be, I don't know, something particularly special because you've been doing something <laughs> 200 times. Um, but also because there was a lot of bravery that was going on. Me to ask them to agree, us to not just go through the motion of it for the sake of a, of a wacky friend. <laughs> and I will be forever grateful. And so I hope that you have a group of people, a group of women, and it could be family members. Maybe you've been blessed with family members that you have this kind of connection with um, because everybody needs it. Everybody needs it. And everybody needs to be willing to just set a, a little bit of time aside to just be undone, <laughs> just be who you are outside of all of the roles that we carry. And um, yeah, so that's my birthday wish for you. And um, if you are interested in the system that we used, I will happily put that in the show notes or you can check out my website, www.robinnorgren.com. But... I don't know. It was just a reminder that you never know what good things coming into your life. And you never know once you let that in, how it's going to shape you and change you and grow you and remind you just how loved you are. So anyway, just want to send love to each one of you. Thank you for going along with me on the journey and if any of my friends who are at that event happen to hear this I love you and I'm so grateful for you all right well thanks for stopping by <laughs>